Liposuction is one of those popular aesthetic procedures that make a big difference to your body and to your life. But after you come out of the operating room following your surgery, you may not immediately feel the difference and it may come as a bit of a letdown to you. This is because it takes some time to see the full results and that's because of swelling. Hello and welcome to this episode of our liposuction series. My name is Sepide and in this video, I'm going to give you some tips on reducing swelling after liposuction to reap the benefits of your liposurgery sooner. Stay tuned! Swelling is a common side effect of liposuction. It is mainly caused by fluid accumulation in the tunnels created by the cannula beneath the skin. The peak of swelling after liposuction is around day 3, and then it begins to subside. Although most of the swelling goes down in 3 to 4 weeks, it can last for months before it completely disappears. Well, there are a few things you can do to reduce swelling after your liposurgery. Tip number one, wear a compression garment. Compression garments are a must after lipo. Almost all surgeons prescribe compression garments for their liposuction patients. A compression garment is a great help for faster and more comfortable recovery after lipo. It puts constant pressure on your body, suppressing the buildup of fluid under the skin and helping the body to absorb the fluid faster, which means the swelling goes down faster as well. Tip number two, massage therapy. Massage therapy is recommended by some surgeons to reduce swelling after liposuction. A gentle massage called manual lymphatic massage therapy two times a week can increase the drainage fluid that has been accumulated under the skin and accordingly lower the amount of swelling. Keep in mind that the massage must be very gentle so as not to cause pain and discomfort and increase bruising. Make sure to check with your doctor before arranging for a massage. Tip number three, cut down on salt intake. Sodium increases water retention in the body, which leads to swelling and bloating. If you want to minimize swelling after your lipo procedure, keep the salt shaker off the table for some time and try to avoid salty foods. Tip number four, Avoid energy drinks. Sports drinks contain plenty of electrolytes such as sodium and potassium, which increase water retention and prolong swelling. So stay away from energy drinks while you are recovering from liposuction. But make sure to drink enough water to keep your body hydrated. Tip number 5. Go for a walk. Brisk daily walks during the first few weeks after your surgery are recommended by most surgeons because they can stimulate your lymphatic system and prevent fluid buildup. Light walking is also good for your recovery because it boosts blood circulation and prevents blood clots. Just be careful not to do intense physical activity like running or vigorous exercise in the first few weeks. Tip number 6. Dry skin brushing. Dry brushing is a method of exfoliating the skin, but it can also be used to reduce the swelling after liposuction. It has a similar function to massage therapy and offers many benefits such as reduced swelling, improved immunity, improved cellulite, as well as a skin refreshment. Use a natural bristle brush, which you can buy from a retail shop, to brush your body with long, gentle strokes toward the heart. 10 to 20 minutes before going for a shower or bath. Tip number 7. Taking prescription anti-inflammatory drug. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs are painkillers such as ibuprofen and aspirin that alleviate not only pain but also inflammation and swelling. But you must remember this because these medications have a blood thinning effect that can slow down the healing process, they should be taken with extreme caution and only if prescribed by your doctor. So do not take over-the-counter anti-inflammatory drugs during your liposuction recovery without informing your doctor. And last but not least, be patient. 
the best treatment for swelling after liposuction is time. It takes time for swelling after surgery to go away. You can only shorten this time with the tips given here, but you shouldn't play down the importance of patience for a full recovery from the surgery and to see all the swelling and bruising disappear and you benefit from the final results. One more thing. Do not compare your swelling with someone else's, because different people heal differently, depending on their health and body conditions. This also highly depends on the extent of the fat removal and incision, and the post-operative care your body receives. Okay, that was all for today's video. I hope it helps. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on this button here and give us a like. If you want to learn more about us, you can visit our website or our Instagram page. Thanks for watching and have a nice one!